Hello and welcome to Video Revealed. I'm Colin Smith and this is the place to go for professional video production techniques. The subject of this reveal is organizing your media in Adobe Premiere Pro. All right, here we are in Premiere Pro and we've already brought in some media. We're looking at, at this in a thumbnail view and you can see, although it looks pretty good, it's a little bit hard to organize. So I'm gonna go to list view. I find that a little bit easier. And here I've got a, a whole bunch of JPEG images. I've got MP3s and QuickTime movies all together inside. And this isn't that complicated, but imagine hundreds of elements in here, it would be hard to find the things you want. Now, I'm going to show you a few different ways to organize things. The first is to uh, use the little search field. So let's say I wanted to find just the MP3s, and I click in my search field and type MP3, and now you can see only my MP3s are showing. Great way to organize them. Using that search field is incredibly powerful, but let me tell you, the one thing that really trips a lot of people up is they forget they have a search a query in there and they can't find their stuff. Even if you hit the space, so if I get rid of that, I just hit the space bar. I put a space in there. I'm searching for something with space in it. There's nothing with space. It looks like I've lost my media. Look for this little X right here and click it. If there's an X, that means you've got a search. So that's great if you want to do some ad hoc quick searches, but what if you always want to have things organized in a certain place? Two ways. I'll show you the virtual way, which works like a, a smart playlist in iTunes, and then mechanically moving this stuff into a folder or a bin, as it's called in Premiere Pro. So let's go over here to um, our video files, and you can see they are, there they are. Down in the bottom right, we have a button for a new bin. If you select these and drag them down into here, it's gonna create a bin and it's going to uh, name it. So I'll type video. So now I've got a bin for my video. And for my images, same thing. I'll drag this up in here, drag that down into there. And these are my images, close that up. And now my MP3s, drag that down into the bin. Music, close that up. Boom, three folders, pretty darn quick, right? Well, that's, the, that's a great way to work if you always wanna come back in here and you see exactly where those folders are. And this is the way I work, but there's also new smart bins inside here. Let me show you how they work. Let's go back in time here and get rid of all of these. And now let's look at our MP3. So just like before, I type M, P3, and now if I click on this little button here, I've actually created a little smart search bin, and if I double click on that and open it up, there it is. So this is like a smart playlist inside iTunes. That means that if I de delete this search bin, I'm not deleting the media. It's just searching for it uh, very easily for me. The other way that you can help search inside here is if you click in this little flyout menu and choose metadata display, and here we're going to add a field, and I'm going to choose type, T-Y-P-E, and you can see right at the top, media type. So now when I click OK, you'll notice media type is a possibility. So these are all search fields over here. And again, just like before, I'm going to hit my tilde key on the North American keyboard just above the tab key or click inside here and maximize this panel group. And you'll notice all of these categories inside here. Well, I just brought this one in, media type, and I can now search by media type very, very quickly. You can see that all of my uh, files are searched in here very easily. All right. The thing about these that, that sometimes happen is you've got to refresh them. They're not as smart and updating, but the search bins are always updating. So if I added a new MP3, it would also show up inside here. Let me show you how that works with sequences. So we're going to make a sequence out of these clips, and I'm going to drag these over to the right, and you can see there's a sequence name right there, and I'm going to just create a few of these. I'm just duplicating these sequences. So now I've got uh, three of these sequences over here. If I go in here and type sequence for search and a smart search bin, 
even though these sequences let me put them into different folders which is very typical uh, of a sequence let me say you've got and i'm going to hit command b on the mac control b on windows and it makes a bin watch this day one day two and day three and I actually put a bin in a bin. So watch this. I'm going to grab my sequences and I'm going to put them into these different bins. So now everything is in bins, but if I want my sequences, double click on here and there they are. So I hope this gives you some tools to, to let you understand that you can organize media in many different ways, whatever suits you, whether it's virtual searches or manually grabbing bins and putting, putting them inside. Bottom line is you're going to be much more efficient as an editor if you've got a much better organized bin uh, and project bin of stuff. Hopefully you found this informative. If you have, please click the subscribe button for video reveal. If you're not already using Adobe Creative Cloud, then jump on over to adobe.com and download a free 30-day trial. Until next time, I'm Colin Smith, and it's my job to get you looking your best.